Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Dre and I want to talk about the Batman Joker deleted scene and how for me um, I can see why it was removed and how unnecessary it is as a scene because watching this scene I was kind of bored. I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe because I probably seen it better done in like sevens and the Zodiac Killer movie and, you know, um, Silence of the Lamb. But watching this scene, it just feels so unnecessary. And it just feels like it's just there to fill a quota because they wanted to figure out how can we shove Joker into this movie when we really don't need to. The fact that the the guy from the Eternals don't even look nowhere near Joker. He looks like he looks like an extreme version of Gotham's Joker from Fox. Like if you guys remember the Joker from Fox, um, Jerome and his and and Jeremiah, um, the brothers, they became pseudo Joker things. And I know somebody was trying to be like, oh, it's kind of like based off of the new 52 Joker where he cuts his face off and puts it back on together. I'm like, y'all just grasp for straws at this point. Let's just call it what it is. There's a reason why this scene was deleted. It was in the, it was deleted because it was unnecessary and it already was uh, in a bloated movie that was already three hours long that for some reason, that's what people, that's a lot of the criticism that I hear is the movie is literally too long. So I don't know if I'm going to really react to it, but I'm going to talk about the scene so we'll watch a little bit and then talk at the same time or whatever and remember i do not own this movie this is something that matt reeves released to the public um so warner brothers i better not hear nothing because if you're not going to copyright strike everybody else don't copyright small channels just because they're reacting or whatever i'm only doing this because i know there are going to be some people that ask for my opinion so here's my opinion on the movie i mean on this scene and you know it reminds me of Commissioner Gordon scene. You guys remember you guys remember the Commissioner Gordon scene where Batman and Commissioner Gordon talks? And it was just the most awkwardest ass scene ever. I to me, like I said, this movie feels like a try hard Christopher Nolan. Like, oh, you remember the Christopher Nolan movie? Yeah, right. But what if we do it darker? Oh, okay, I guess so. You know? I mean, what the hell is going on? What in God's name is going on with this shit right here? I mean, I'm about tired of these ugly ass designs for the Joker. Um, the DCU Jared Little one, just the tattoos. Um, the Batman Gotham one was just that acid trip, hot garbage um, bumps all over his body. That was weird. Um, and now this. You know, holy crap, <laughs> you know, why you guys can't go simple like Jaqueline Phoenix and Heath Ledger and hell, even the CW Batwoman went simple for the Joker. It's not that hard. Stop trying to make him even more manic or crazy than he is. We, we already get it. We get it that he's a crazy person. You don't have to put tattoos or grills or disfigurement or different i mean different patches of skin color on him to make him look like he's a joker you know oh it's right on his face isn't it mm. there's a serial killer i want to respect that batman goes to joker for advice about the riddler i mean <sighs> 
is kind of dumb to be honest um, i'm just gonna be honest with you and i get it they're trying to go with the whole silence of the lamb seven zodiac killer thing or whatever where you ask a serial killer for help to find another serial killer but usually batman would never really go to joker unless he really needs his help and it has to be something major not in his what his third year of being batman where he's like oh yeah let me go and talk to the joker about the riddler who joker is way more dangerous than the riddler so why in god's name would batman even go to the joker you get what i'm saying you get how this scene doesn't make any sense you see how it takes away the power dynamics of everything but i understand some people like it but i'm just gonna call a spade a spade when it comes to this kind of stuff it just doesn't make logical sense to be honest, and I understand people enjoy it. Y'all, y'all can enjoy it. I'm just saying that this isn't a good, uh, a good reasoning for this scene in this movie. Why makes you think I come so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. Why makes you think I come? I mean, like I said, this is such a quiet, boring scene that it makes me want to fall asleep. And I'm being honest with you guys. I just could care absolutely nothing. And that's the problem, too. The scene doesn't make me care. You know, I want I don't want this. I don't want the Joker to be this quiet person. I want him to be the vibrant, loud person where he was like, oh, poo, poo, bat. See, you can't figure out one riddle. Or something like that. I want him to be that ex exuberant, manic character. He's not manic yet. He laughs a few, but that's not manic at all. I mean, we've seen we've seen serial killer. We've seen movies where serial killers where they talk to the person and they'll laugh a little bit or whatever. But this is supposed to be the Joker. I mean, again, just what the hell is this damn scene? It is so slow and methodical. I think I can see why people, some people said the movie was just a tad bit too long because this scene drags out so unnecessary. And I get it. You're trying to build some tension or whatever, but I don't feel any tension coming off of that. It just, it just gives me the creepy atmosphere, but it doesn't give me the joker vibe it feels like batman is randomly talking to a random inmate and that's fine but i mean you could have made he that could have been the caliber man that could have been um that could have been um what professor pig it could have been um what's it what's the darren killer that darren yazin i don't know how to say his name zaz zazas that that could have been that one um 
you know, it could have been it could have been a preferable not not a preferable of characters, but it could have been other characters that could have came in that were that have like such a such kind of killer instincts or something like that that I would have preferred than the Joker. Again, I just feel like this just was unnecessary and again I can see why the scene was cut out. Why is you lie to me? Maybe he's a fan of yours. Maybe he's got a grudge against you too. Maybe you're the main course. Any theories? Not yet. Really? I know I'm so bad as a good But something is different this time. I mean, who did this man's hair and looking up close to suit just doesn't stand out at all. It looks so generic and boring. So, I don't know. I mean, again, glad that you guys like this movie, but I'm not into it at all. I think this is probably one of the most boringest scenes I've ever seen in a Batman movie. Like, what is this scene? <laughs> and it's and it's not my bias. It's really I watched this scene twice before I even get this. And again, I can see why this movie was you know, this movie was cut out. You know. And look at that face. God no. Hell no. I don't want I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna look at that for the next joker. Hell no, man. Again, you can tell her it's trying to do a knockoff of the Heath Ledger Joker look with the feelings of the Gotham um Fox Joker. If you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. No, this this was not a good scene. Um I mean, I don't know if it's if it was good or not to put it in the, to keep it in, but I can see why it was removed because it feels like it has pace issues for no reason. Like this, this just was not a good scene at all, and I didn't feel any Joker vibe from it. I felt like this was a psychopathic killer, but not the Joker. Y'all know the difference between Joker. Y'all know the difference between a psycho psychopathic killer. Y'all have seen it in comics and movies and shows all the damn time. This is just not it. It bored me, um, to be honest. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie and I'm not, not gonna pretend like, oh, this was this was great. No, it was it was pretty bad. It was a bad scene. It wasn't good to me. But it is what it is. Um, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I know some people are gonna be like, Oh, you tripping trade, this movie was amazing. I to be honest, I don't care if the movie was amazing or not. Um, I'm not feeling anything that that Matt Reeves is doing. I just feel like he's doing a darker take of the Christopher Nolan movies. And that's just my opinion. But yeah, that was it. Tell me what you guys think comes below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everybody.